welcome back to my channel so you guessed it y'all been asking me for a nail video for so long so i'm finally sitting down to make it for you all so let's do my nails i'm gonna be using dip powder today you guys know that i love dip powder um it's a great alternative to acrylic i've sworn off acrylic it is so bad for your natural nail but dip powder is pretty much the opposite it has added vitamins and calcium in it so it's pretty good for your nails and i promise the structural integrity of it is absolutely amazing so everything that i'm about to use and list is linked in my amazon storefront this is in no way sponsored i bought all this stuff with my own money and i'm not trying to plug my amazon storefront but if you want a direct link it is there you don't have to buy it from my storefront of course um if you want you can buy it from somewhere else you can buy it from your nail store but the direct links are all in my Amazon storefront. All right, y'all, so to start off, I have the Kiara Sky Steps 1 through 4 Dip Essential Set. This set is absolutely amazing. This is top of the line quality uh, dip powder, essential nail material, whatever you wanna call it. If you're gonna do dip powder, get this. This is amazing. So I have steps one through four. Step one is the bond that's going to dehydrate your nail and make sure no lifting occurs. Step two is the uh, base. This is basically gonna act as the glue when you dip into the powder. Step three is the seal and protect. This is gonna harden and cure the nail before you go into shape and file. And then step four is the top coat. But I do have a gel top coat here because I actually don't like dip coat top coat because it's not as shiny to me. So I do have a gel top coat. You don't have to use a gel top coat. You can use this because this does require curing, which leads me to my next uh, material or tool, whatever. I have a gel lamp here or UV lamp here. So if you wanna go in with a top coat that's not gel you can go ahead and do that because it doesn't require curing but I like to use gel top coat because it's much more shiny and glossy and this does not chip crack or anything like that this is the DND soak off gel all in one this is also linked in my storefront and of course the star of the show is the dip powder I love revel nail dip powder now you can go to Kiara Sky and get some of theirs but I love revel nail because it is less expensive than Kiara Sky but just as good so I have three shades here I know you guys are wondering why I'm holding up three shades but that is because I mixed these three shades to make my own custom nude shade. So I customized this shade to be like the perfect nude for me personally because I couldn't find the perfect nude. So I mixed them all together myself. So starting off, I mixed Veronica, which is white. Should be the base of all nudes in my opinion. And then I have the color Itzel, which is like a nudie brown. And then I have the, um, the shade Covetous, which is like a pink. So I mixed these three together to create the perfect nude for me. And then I just have them in this little Target container. Container. It's like a little travel container. Um, so yeah. Well, I decided that I'm going to go ahead and do a French tip. So I'm going to use this uh, pink gel polish from Red Carpet Manicure uh, to create my pink French tip. This I got at Ulta. It's not linked in my storefront, but any pink gel nail polish will do if you're trying to do a French tip or whatever color you want. I do have an e-file. Now, if you don't want to buy this, you can use a hand file, but this is much quicker. So I have one of these also linked to my storefront, and then I have the drill bits for it also linked to my storefront. And then here I have a nail clipper, one of the ones that just clips it straight across. I have a buffer, a filer, and then I have a brush to go ahead and do my French tip. Then here I also have some tips um, so that I'm going to glue onto my natural nails. Now my natural nails are doing really well. They're really healthy and strong, but I'm going for a longer oval shape today, like a ballerina type shape today. So I'm going to add tips. Um, and I also want to show you all how you would do that. Or you can just work on your natural nail, of course, but I wanted to just show you all how you can add tips to a set to make it an elevated look. Okay, so now that you all have seen all the materials and tools that I'm going to be using, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, I just want to start with saying that I'm not a nail tech, I'm just doing what works for me. If you want to try this, you should do some research first and also do what works for you. So here I'm just buffing out the natural nail, getting the shine off and making sure I have a little bit of grit on the nail before I go in and glue the nail tips on. This step is very important because if you have any shine or oil on your natural nail, it can cause your nail tip to lift or just not glue down properly. So you want to make sure you go in and buff all the shine off your nail so your nail tip can stay secure. Or if you're doing this on your natural nail, you still want to do the same thing so you can prevent lifting. So this is the nail glue that I'm going to be using. It's a pretty good glue. I don't even know where I got this stuff from. But I'm just going to take a dot on each finger and then add the tip to the nail and just make sure it's secure. 
If in the event that you don't add enough glue, you can go ahead and just squeeze just a little bit right up under the tip. It should just suck right under there and be able to adhere to your finger. I also think it's important to note that I'm just gluing the nail tip to the very tip of my nail like where my natural absolute nail is. You don't want to go too high because that'll look awkward and be a little bit too fitted to your nail. So make sure you just keep the nail tip close to the edge of your nail. Now I'm just going ahead and taking a mini pair of scissors and trimming the nail in that nice almond shape. This is just a rough estimate at first and then I'll go in with the nail file to get it nice and shaped. But to not waste too much time I'm just going to go ahead and clip off those edges in a diagonal cut to just make that almond shape a bit easier on me when I go to do the filing. Now I'm just taking my hand file and defining that almond shape here. You can just see me going ahead and making sure it's nice and slim how I like it personally. And then I'm just going to go ahead and round out the bottom of the nail to make it into a nice fitted shape. Personally, I love this shape. I know a lot of people don't like it, but I adore this shape. I love a nice almond ballerina like shape. So here I'm just going ahead and making sure I have that all nice and good. It doesn't have to be perfect at this point because you can always go back in and file it after you dip your nails. But I like to get it as good as possible as soon as possible so I can do less work in the end. Now I'm going ahead in with a fluffy brush to dust all that nail powder off of there. You can use any brush that you have as long as it's fluffy. This is now devoted to my nails. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab my Kiara Sky Dip Essentials Bond. This is the primer. It's going to dehydrate your nail and make sure that there's no oils left over on your nails. Notice how I'm just taking it onto my natural nail. You do not need to put this on the nail tip, but instead just your natural nail. Now I have the Kiara Sky Dip Essentials Base in my custom shade. I'm just going ahead and painting a thin layer over the natural nail and then I'm going to go ahead and dip it into my pot of dip powder. When you go ahead and dip your nail into the pot you want to make sure that everything's covered because this does act as a glue and it will dry pretty fast. So just keep your pot nearby and make sure you dip in right after you painted your nail. And if there's any smudging that occurs you can go ahead and try to pat it out. If you look closely, I would have smudged this ring finger, but I just went ahead and softly patted the smudge out and then let it dry. So yeah, just act quickly because this stuff will dry quickly. After two good coats of the base and the powder, I'm going in with the Kiara Sky Seal and Protect. This is going to make sure that the dip powder hardens onto your nail. It's going to basically cure it onto the nail and it makes it suitable for shaping and filing. Make sure you don't skip this step, it is arguably the most important. I always go in with two coats to make sure everything is nice and hard and sealed. And then I just let it air dry for about 10 to 15 seconds after that. 
And then I always like to just tap on the nail to make sure I hear the little clicking sound. That just means it's dry and then I'll go in with my hand file to just start defining that shape again that I was already earlier doing. I'm just going ahead and rounding it out and making sure there's no dip powder left on my cuticles or anything like that. Also I forgot to note that when you're painting your nails with the base just make sure that you're staying away from the cuticles because if you get it on there the powder will also get on there and then if the powder gets on there you can create lifting. Now I'm just going in with my drill bit to make sure everything's smooth. If you don't have this, again, you can use a block buffer or you can use a hand file, but I'm just going ahead and smoothing over the nail to make sure there's no lumps, no bumps, and making sure everything's nice and even before I go in with my French tip. All right, now for my absolute favorite part, I just took a drop of the pink gel polish onto a piece of aluminum foil, and I'm just going in and hand painting that French tip. The easiest way for me to explain this is that you just make a V shape and then you round it out in the middle. So I'm just taking one side and painting it into a V, and then doing the same thing on the other side, and then connecting them and rounding them out in the middle, and then I'm just filling in the empty space on the rest of the nail. Alright, so after I finish all my French tips, I'm going to go ahead and cure them in the lamp for about 60 seconds. And then immediately after that, I'm going to go in with my D&D &D top coat. After adding that top coat, I'm just going to go ahead and cure it for an additional 60 seconds and then add some cuticle oil and this is the final result. I absolutely love these nails and I hope you guys do too. You should definitely follow this tutorial and do some dip powder and I hope it turns out amazing and until next time I'll see y'all.